Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the VLOOKUP formula and the built-in functionality in Excel. Just to sum up, the VLOOKUP, we use it, we look up in order to extract the data from a huge table or a database and would like to like retrieve it on the base of a specific lookup value or a specific ID or a specific letters, words, whatever. This is what we are going to check, how does it work uh, and how does it look like and how we have to type it in. So the VLOOKUP function, we have a database, this consists of the GDP of different countries from the World Bank database. You can see the ID as well and even the country code and so on and so on and year by year, year the, the yearly GDP values in USD. So actually what, what it does, what a VLOOKUP function can give you is that you have a certain ID or you have a certain country ID or country code or you can even have different series code whatever different type of uh, uh, lookup value or identification number and on the base of that you would like to retrieve some of the data which you can find in the actual columns of the database so what you can do and how it works and you can even check here in the top left corner of the of the worksheet is that this VLOOKUP starts with the lookup value then you have to identify a table where it gets the data from then a column index number where it should count and get the data from and then just one more thing the range lookup value whether it should be like uh, precise or there is some ranges it can still defer and so on and so on so let's just see in this case let's say we would like to have the data I don't know 1005 and the Austrian yeah let's say the Austrian GDP value for 2000 let's say so what we're going to do here is type this VLOOKUP it's already you can see press tab and then it goes to the lookup value what we have to put here is either to refer to a cell or just type it in with code uh, 1005 if I'm not mistaken then put then here comes the table array where we have to identify which is the table we are would we would like to have the data from let's say is this one and the next one is the column index number you have to kind of count it's so on the base of this lookup value it goes for in the table to which column one two three four five six we would like to get it from the sixth column because this is for the two thousands type six and zero for the uh, exact match. Uh, close the parenthesis, click enter and then you will see not available because for the number <clears throat> we don't need the quote sign. Exactly, it will give back to you uh, the exact number so exactly nine to blah, 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 whatever billions of dollars almost more than nine billions of dollars so actually this is this is regarding a number why I put there the quote it was deliberately because uh, if you put there the quote you would like to search for a country code in this case then you have to put it there I will show you now but this is regarding if you'd like to have for the demand so basically it search for this demand code with the lookup value and then it goes in the table to the given column number one two three four five six and then in the cross section this is the number we are looking for if we would like to have it for a different table with the uh, let's say the Austrian what was it AUT yeah I hope it's correct then okay this is the first column of it we are searching for the one two third column for the two thousands third column zero close the parenthesis and it's there with all the data what we are looking for yes it's much more yeah that was Angola and that's Austria of course by itself the GDPs are like 10 times 20 times more so uh, if this is how it works and this is how this uh, VLOOKUP function exactly so that you can see it's exactly the same number so this is how the VLOOKUP function works and formula. This is a really useful stuff. Uh, although there are some pros and cons I would like to introduce you as well. Uh, and, and why is it good and why is it bad? So this is how it works. And there are some 
pros because always be positive start with the pro ones so first of all it's really easy to use as you could see you're just typing get the lookup function and then or the lookup value which table you would like to get the data from and then which column should it go uh, it can handle these databases so even though you have this one or a much much bigger one you can use this VLOOKUP function to retrieve all the data and it can collect them and even if you can drag it down it works perfectly however there are some uh, downsides as well first of all the reference and the formula members can move so always make sure if you'd like to use it and draw it down let's say then uh, you always have to fix it by pressing F4 and then by this pressing F4 it fixes it and then you can drag it down drag it down like this and it's not going to be give you or, or, or move away for different table arrays and so on and so on look for the first match only it means that actually if you have like more IDs or not unique ID then unique identifier but still you'd like to gather it it's not going to work because it always goes to the first one let's say the first AUT one and then it stops and retrieve that data it's not case sensitive meaning that if for the Austrian countries is AUT is capital or is a small one it doesn't matter VLOOKUP doesn't care it will just retrieve that data and sometimes if you have a huge database that it could matter and last but not least it is manual or first if you're using like we use now it is manual because you have to count the columns and then uh, you have to type it in so this gives you kind of manuality in the whole process however if you could just link these last one into another cell let's say and you have numbers there and that can solve the problem already but this is in a different story so this is shortly vlookup function some pros and cons and then uh, have fun